Get on the ground. Get on your stomach. Okay, okay, okay. Drop it. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Stop, sir. Get down. Get down. Put your hands on your head. Now we're going to tase. Oh, my God. I was scared. When cops surprise shoplifters in the act, how bad do you need a handbag worth thousands of dollars? Would you be willing to risk going to jail over it? Have you ever walked into a Wegmans department store and wanted to steal something so bad that you'd be willing to get tased to get it? Some people would, and you'll meet them and others on today's episode. This is Missing Files. Nicholas, it's on the 25th of August, 2022. Officers were called to a Goodwill store after staff spotted a man currently in the store who had shoplifted a few days earlier. That man was Nicholas. The cops were keen to make an arrest and put an end to the cycle. As the officer arrived, he spots a man leaving on a bicycle and suspects this might be who he's looking for. 155 headquarters. I've got him on a bike in the Target parking lot now. Happy Avalon bike in the Target lot. 10 he's not stopping, he's me fleeing. Happy is fleeing. The cop jumps out of his car and chases the man right into a target. Nicholas ignores the orders even under the threat of a taser. Stop! Stop! Take your hand out of your pocket. Stop now! Stop! Take your hands out of your pocket. Get down on the ground now! The cop is forced into a chase again and the suspect thinks he can get away. After the short chase, Nicholas falls into a ditch and decides to give up. Tase! Take your hand out of your pocket! I'm going to show you your hands. Put your hands on your head. Now we're going to tase. You put your hands in your pockets and you're getting tased. Please. I'm sorry. Stop! Nicholas claims that he was scared, but it's obvious he was running because he was guilty. I was scared. I'm in between the lot and 53. I'm in the grass ditch. I can't breathe. Please leave me alone. Please. No. I'm not a bad person. Lay down. I'm not a bad person, I promise. The cop tries to detain Nicholas before he comes up with a new getaway strategy. Don't be mad at Put me. Put your though. hands behind your back. I'm not gonna do nothing. Put your hands behind your back. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't. Hands behind your back. Oh, Other one. Move. Now. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit of... oh. You move again, you're getting tased. You Go say my other officer's up there and send him over here. You can't take me on like this. Don't shoot me like I'm a piece of shit. I'm not a piece of shit. Okay? Other officers turn up to assist in the arrest, and they conduct a standard search. Yeah, you're not even moving at all. Okay? So please, be nice. Sam 155 headquarters. We don't oh, want to say 10 to Stop it? moving I'm around. I'm not moving, Nick. Sir, I'm not moving even a little bit. The officer walks the suspect back to the car and interrogates him about pulling a knife out during the chase. By pulling a knife out? I didn't pull a knife out. The one that's sitting right underneath I you. Put it up here. No, I pulled it out and I showed it to you and I sat it next to me. The officers sit Nicholas in the car, who has no choice but to comply, considering he will already be hit with resisting charges. Denver. You're a felon, not allowed to conceal them. Get in there. I wasn't concealed, it's a pocket knife. It's in your pocket. Put it in your feet. Sir. I know, right? Come on, man. Don't run from the police. I'm sorry. The officers return to the store and try to drum up any more charges for Nicholas and also to make sure that they have everything in order. Nicholas is placed in a separate car to be taken to jail. The officers were concerned that if he was concealing a knife, he may be hiding other secrets. So, instructing, uh, can't conceal knife and then whatever you got for me. Sounds so good. I'll get, let me know. I'll get that quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
It was my pleasure. Good work. Hey guys. How are you doing, Rich? The officer drives Nicholas to jail and continues to question why he would pull out a knife. Nicholas was charged with possession of meth, misdemeanor counts of obstruction and resisting, carrying a concealed knife, and theft. Brothers go for second round. Our next case takes place on the 9th of July, 2023. Officers pulled up to a Wegmer's after reports of shoplifting. The two suspects were two brothers who didn't want to go down without a fight. When the officers arrived, the chase was immediately on. They located a suspect and went after him with great success. Stop! Stop, sir! Get down! Get down! One running towards Panera. White, my t-shirt. Over here. Elsewhere, the cop's colleague had similar results, taking down their target with ease. Get on the ground! Don't move! Turn around! Get on your stomach! Turn around now! Hi, right, sir. Turn around. Sorry about that, sir. Both of them are walked over to cop cars. One of them seems way more apologetic than the other. I'm sorry about that. All right, you all right? You good? Yeah, I'm just scared. Do you have any weapons on you? Oh, no, no, you check me. Feel free. No weapons on you. Any drugs or anything? No, I don't do that. Yeah, cool. Check. Cool. Check. What's up? No, so you could check. No whip and no needles okay. or anything. Okay. Check my brother from the floor in the Bronx. So I shouldn't be doing it, but situations are f***ed up. So it is what it is. One of the brothers reveals they have criminal history, which probably won't bode well for what's about to happen. My this is up already. What kind of show am I in, sir? You guys, are you guys veterans from the army or anything like that? I am. A couple of us are. I'm, I'm, I'm a veteran, I'm on. I'm sorry. Anything else or no? No, I don't have anything. We're stupid s***. You got anything in your belt? No, I don't got nothing. We didn't have a red light. And, and, just, and I thought I was drunk, but I, I, I hit point four. I didn't really hit point eight. I wasn't drinking. I'm so sorry, guys. Their car is absolutely filled with stolen goods. There's no telling how much it equates to. But this Red Bull right here. This in the car just gotta be ours. But did they load any stuff? Uh, I gotta go back on camera. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. I think this right here is already over 200. Yeah, you see. Yeah. <laughs> you got nothing in your belt line or anything? No, no, just no. step out for me again. I'm sorry. Yeah. You got it. I know you see the car, so you got different belts. Uh, okay. I, I, hey. I see the car. See? Uh, one of the brothers is incredibly emotional, saying that he's a veteran and that he was forced to commit a crime against his will. Talk to a lawyer, either I, way. I would like to do both. I, I, I right. want to get out of this thing. I don't want. I don't want these guys to follow me. I don't want to hurt my family or anything like that. Right. I was forced to do this, sir. I'm honest. I'm a veteran. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm used to lot to you. Sorry, what'd you say? The man continues to freak out and is absolutely worried about his family. <laughs> what are you, dude? Yeah. What is my, your name? My name is Michael. Dude. Santiago. Okay. Santiago. Okay, you served in our country, in yes, our did, services, sir. right? I swear to God, sir. Okay. It's in my ID. Okay, thank you. I appreciate your service. Can you take a breath and relax? Do you need the first aid squad? No, I don't, sir. Are you sure? I'm sure, sir. Okay, listen, we got to come back and do paperwork. The other brother is a lot more calm, and he's trying to be upfront about who he is. Look, I'm not here to make, I'm not here to make your home. Have you been arrested in New Jersey? Uh, yes, I did. In Wayne, New Jersey. You how, long, how long ago was that? Not too long ago. Okay, same thing. Look, I'm not lying to you. I know, I'm just I'm trying to, I'm you know how we work with the public safety know, assessment? I have a serious cocaine addiction. Okay. And I can't let, I need to stay home. I okay. can't let, I think this will be the best. Is there any in the car? None at all. Is there any no. on you that it's enough? No. Okay. Look, when's the last time, when's the last time you yesterday, used Yesterday, day before. And this yeah. is why I did this, I wanted to go buy some. Okay. So this thing, go buy some. So you know what? That's my scenario, yeah. that's my life. Okay. The man is told that he'll be charged, but the cops try to reassure him that he'll be fine. The cops are still unsure about one of the brother's health and well-being and call an ambulance to get him checked out. Hey, come back for me. Huh? Oh, Lord Jesus. They just want to... Hey. They want to take a look yes, at you and make sure you Are you right. having a medical emergency? No, I'm fine. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just going through a lot right now. My family, I need to get my family. Okay. You guys got to do, ask them... No, no if, he doesn't, if he doesn't want me to look at him, that's no, his choice. Fine, as long you. as you're good with that, I'm good with that. Yeah. The emotional brother tells the cops more about what he's doing and why. He's incredibly distressed and clearly worried for his safety. So, so you're staying in you're staying in the Bronx right now? Yes, sir. What brought you up here? 
Over here. I, I told you, they tell me, okay, they tell me to come up here, they're going to hurt my family. Okay. Behind us. I wanted to talk to somebody. I'm like, no. The shop employee confirms how much was stolen, allowing the cops to charge the duo with more accurate information. I know. $1,500 is what's in those carts. That's the video. And the rest of the stuff in the car, I don't think it's ours. They pull in the parking lot and park. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. The cops take the brothers to jail. They're both charged with shoplifting and conspiracy to shoplift. The more emotional brother was charged with tampering with public records, resisting arrest, and obstruction. He was also correct in the fact that he had already been linked to other shoplifting incidents. Steal $4,000 in Prada purses. It's on the 8th of December, 2022. Officers were called to a Prada store in the lead up to Christmas, with multiple managers and shop assistants reporting to have seen two women stealing from bags on multiple occasions. With the officers hoping to stop the women from continuing this litany of thefts, they approach the Prada store on the lookout for the suspects. So denim shirt, denim jackets, khaki shorts, Nike bag. A white, white t-shirt. See that real quick? White t-shirt. They search the general shopping area and make a startling discovery. The duo, they're at it again, this time at a different store. The chase begins with the officer threatening the suspect with a taser if they don't comply. Hey, stop. Hey, stop running, you're gonna get chased. You're gonna get chased. Stop running. Get the other door, get the other, get the other. We'll pursue through the helmet. The other suspect has managed to flee the scene, but the officer is hot on their heels. 9 4. Amanda, please stop running! Stop running, you're gonna get tased! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! With the first woman looking to get away again, the officer is forced to use force. They cannot let this series of crimes continue. You're gonna get chased. Right. Get the f on the ground now. Bro, get, on the ground. get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on your stomach. Okay, okay, okay. Drop your phone. You're gonna get chased. Put your hands behind your back. Bro, why don't you Put your me? hands behind your back. Bro, why don't you give me that bag, bro? Outside, the other culprit is handcuffed without resistance. Stupid as shit. Sure, you good? Yeah, you got yours? Yeah. Inside, it's a different story, with the first woman becoming far more vocal about her arrest. Her bag, All right, bro. get up. Get up. Come on. Well, I'm burning my shit out of here, bro. No, you're not. How I'm not. I have money in my purse. Oh, there you go. Hold on, she's still fighting right now. I'm, I promise. Oh, my baby. Stop. I'm not fighting you. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you please go get my uh, my cousin's car keys, please? Hold on. I don't want to lose her car keys. You're not going to lose anything. I'm not resisting you. I have money in my bag. The box is where I want it. When I tell you to do something, you stop. I'm stopping. You scared me. She gave me her bag and started running. What you expect me to do? Can I get my shoes, please? I don't want to walk barefoot. She continues to plead her case and tries to provide evidence that she's bought items elsewhere. A purchase in one store does not negate a theft in another. I'm telling you, I'm paying stop. for my shit. Do you need anything from us? 
Probably. Yes, she she had my, I, she gave me the bag. I'm trying to buy myself. I have money. I'm not spending. I mean, I don't think they stole from you guys yet, but I'm not they've been spending. hitting a bunch of stores. So. No, I have not. I just bought stuff out of Nike. I just bought stuff out of Nike. Uh, I have money in my bag. That old lady lady, like, she mad because I shot a bird Josh, at her, bro. Have the Nike bag? Look, look, look. Stop. Look. I'm trying to show you Stop. my stuff in my wallet. I don't care. Stop. I'm not stealing anything. The conflict between the cops and the suspects only intensifies. This escalation isn't going to end well. You got a warrant? Oh, no, I don't got a warrant. I bet you do. I bet I don't. Why'd you say, why'd you say I'm going to see why? Echo 9 for you, She watched the black girl walk right out the stove. Oh, Y'all came like five minutes after the girl just walked out the stove. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got an ID? Do you have an ID in there? No. Do you have any weapons in there? No. Okay. What's your name? Yes. We're right in front of Forever 21. If you walk in through Saks, go all the way through uh, Saks. The evidence of their theft is now held against them, but the woman continues to peddle nonsense. None of it is landing. Can I, can I, can I be honest with you? It was three. It was, it was three already in there when we went in there, and I just so happy knew the girl. Okay. I'm being real with you. Hey, Uncle Joe. That's my uncle. I'm kidding. Joe. Like the best security guard we have here. Oh man. Uncle Joe. Hey, what's up? You know her? Uncle Joe. The cops return the stolen items to the store and tally up how much was stolen. That is probably yeah. Is there stuff no, that's the, yeah, that's, that's probably stolen too. Yeah, I would have said so. Higher Wildstein and Josh Bingo. Brooks. Bravo Indiana Little Little Adventure. Because this looks like that. Yeah. So th these are both Steve Madden. And this is Steve Madden. And this is their rental car. Well, here's my alpha. And then this is Old Navy in here. God. The suspects are taken away to a cop car, but they keep running their mouths. The total cost of their thefts was over four thousand dollars. What y'all talk about? Talking about yeah and giving that and pounds and <laughs> they did that shit. They did that shit. They did. Somebody tied the back of my neck because it's my third. What? Yeah. Untie. Wait, let me go down first. Untie, cause it's gonna come off. He know that. you do your girlfriend's song. You know how to do it. He said untie. Uh, yeah, untie. He pressed the thing. He pressed the thing to record. He pressed. All she said. No, was, I, just, I know. So all I she said was, "Can you?" Cause you don't have to stress something around my neck, then this is gonna please. They were given a fifty-two hundred dollar fine and spent the night in jail because they were younger. Stealing one thousand dollars in makeup products. Our next case begins on the 27th of January, 2023. Officers were asked to attend a Sephora after shop assistants caught two women stealing over $1,000 worth of makeup products, which were being easily concealed. They were confronted and taken to a separate room until cops arrived. Once the officers show up, they're given a rundown on what's exactly happened. Bag, majority of it, and she took like probably 10 items and walked out with the basket. Okay. So let me grab. So this is everything here. This is everything that he took. Okay. But I'll grab a price for it. Okay. So what's what's going on today? You have your IDs with you guys? No. You don't have any IDs with you. I don't. What's in your purse? Nothing. What's your name? While we're waiting on them, I'm read this to you guys, okay? You have the right to remain silent, not answer any questions. Any statement you make must be freely and voluntarily given. You guys ever been arrested before? Huh? I'm asking, just asking questions. Right now I'm trying to figure out what they have going on here, what the total amount is, what the video shows me right now. I'm just talking to you. The store manager reveals just how much damage was done and they definitely want to press charges. Okay. No tax. Okay. Okay. So, so do you have any video of what's going on? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll show you. Um, okay. Let's see. No, just so you guys know that, you know, due to the price, it's like, a, it's like 11, sorry, it's a 11, it's 11, 11, dollars so we're going to prosecute. Okay? I got a question. What's that? 
No offense. This is on camera. This is no offense. It is on camera. I just watched I, it. You didn't. I, I just walk out with it. I was just. What's that? I watched you walk out with a basket in your hand. Not me. I dropped it right there. He even once you Once you walk past that door, you have stolen. The women argue that they're not guilty even though they're caught on camera. They're looking for loopholes, but they don't add up. I didn't. You can look on the camera. I didn't you, you, you understand that if you took any, selected any items and you put them into the one that she carried out or put it in this purse or anything like that, that means you're acting in concert and you're both, you're both guilty of a felony. I dropped it on the floor. I dropped it on the floor. I didn't take it. I did not take anything. You could see on the camera I didn't take anything. When he walked outside, he'll tell you I didn't have anything, right or wrong. Did I have something? I didn't. I did not have nothing. I didn't. I, I did not have anything. The arguments continue, but the woman isn't understanding that just because she didn't take anything, it doesn't mean she isn't responsible for the crime. What's that? Well, He's, I'm going to take a sworn statement from him in a second, and if his sworn statement matches that you don't have anything and you didn't take I anything, did, he, he then, didn't we'll take go, anything. then we'll go from there right now. Hey, you got change enough. I got change. Okay. You want change? Yeah, I'll be right. All right, there we go. The employee goes into more detail, stacking more evidence against the suspects. Front door mm -hmm. in that little cubby hole. They um they each they well the girl with the brown. She selected the items. The out one with the shorter hair. Yeah. Okay. She selected items out of uh, out of the, the, the Sephora basket and placed them into her into her purse while the girl well, the subject in the black stood next to her, kind of shielding. Okay. Um, and um, then she just, I, I'm not sure why she just walked out with the basket. But the, inside the basket, there was like 10 roller balls when she walked out with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I then approached both of them outside. One went left, one went right. Okay. Now, at any point, did you see what happened to the items that were in the basket carried by the woman with the long blonde hair? Did you said the other one was taking items out of, her, out of her basket, putting it into her bag. Correct. Did you ever see any concealment on the behalf of the other person, or she was, or she was only acting as the shield? She was only to it? Acting, acting as a shield. Okay. Okay. So, just, so, so the items that she previously selected, what happened to those items? Those items were, I guess, assuming they were in the basket. Okay. Yeah. So this, the, the, the items that she selected got got concealed. Okay. By the subject in the brown. Okay. Um. Also, I guess she put some in the in her, in her purse and in the basket as well. Okay. Um, but like I said, they both acted in concert. I saw them both selecting. They never left each other's side at the same time. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. He confirms that they acted together throughout the plan, meaning they're both liable to be charged. I don't think so. I think just the one in the brown. Okay. The basket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of hard for me to follow. There's a lot yeah, going no, on I get there. It. So. I totally okay. Get it. Totally understand. All right. Well, thank you very much. I My appreciate pleasure. it. Thank you. One of the women reveals that she actually lied about her name. The reason for that lie becomes clear as it's discovered she has outstanding warrants for more crimes. Yeah, they're going to get it one way or the other, so I appreciate you being honest. How about you? I did your money. You real? Did. All right, what's your real name? What's your real last name? Okay. Listen, here's the thing. This is what I told a kid earlier today, and you know this. On your shit, you are you're, you're, you're. I don't know, bitch. You're not baby. I can't f up. I know I'm doing. I'm f up by even doing this. But hey, I was doing this because I don't. But here's the thing: there's no getting out of it now, right? So we're beyond that point of like, hey, like we're already here. It's already involved. So what's your real last name? Because she's on probation, the woman is going to have to stay in jail. The consequences of her actions are hitting hard. Oh, no, it no, all depends no. on what your PR. What are you on probation for? I can't. 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 Hang on. You gotta see a real good. Who gonna get my baby? I can't do it. We're, I we're, cannot. We're, listen. Look, we're gonna make I sure. I got a whole DCF case I have to go to on Monday. I cannot do it. I can't. What is your? Let me ask you this. What are you on probation for? Oh my God. Ma'am, what are you on probation for? <laughs> so serious. Some serious mm -hmm. okay. The woman seems desperate and tries to explain why she committed the crime. The cops seem sympathetic, but it's not going to change anything. I only did it so I could sell the perfume so I could be able to pay my bills, bro. Like, oh my God. 
The girl's mother turns up, who may be able to help with childcare, which will calm the situation. Did I talk her on her phone? She should have her phone back there. Something. Yeah, I just, she has I, her phone back there, but she. Can y'all? Can you hold it for her and put it on? And I'll talk yeah. to her right now. Yeah, but we'll, I'm not gonna put myself or this baby. Me, yeah. So you've got that. Do me a favor. Just step out in the mall because it's loud in here. Okay. And we'll have her call okay, you. Okay. Thank you. Her mom isn't giving any sympathy and actually seems reluctant to help. The officers allow the woman to see her child before she's taken to jail. They didn't have to do this, but this is the human side of the job. The woman is taken to a police car and driven to the local police facility. She's incredibly emotional throughout the process and was eventually charged with theft of over $750 alongside the other woman involved. 80-year-old grandmother. Our next case begins on the 27th of February, 2024. Officers were called to a target after a woman was found attempting to leave the store with stolen items. Cleverly, the officers arrived and waited for the 80-year-old woman at the exit of the store to trap her before she could leave. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay. She's taken to another room with all of her shopping items, and there's a lot. Can I have your purse, please? Sure. I didn't know what it was. I wanted to be sure, and I paid for it here to receive. The woman's rights are read to her, but she interestingly reveals that this isn't her first run-in with the law. All right. I'm sorry. Before we ask you some questions, I'm just going to read your Miranda rights, okay? Yeah, I've been in trouble before with you. You have the right to remain silent and anything you say may be used as evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney and have him or her with you now or any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. If at any time you wish to stop talking or have an attorney present, all questions will be stopped at your request. Do you understand these rights? Are you willing to talk to me? Yes. Okay. So in the past, have you been... Yes. In, here. in the past, have you been trespassed from this yes. target before? Yes. The woman had been trespassed from the property but felt she was able to come back regardless. She has a prior history of stealing from the exact same store. No. Any kind of documentation approved that your trespass was lifted? No. Okay. I called, though. Did you steal anything today? Say again? Did you steal anything today? No. Did you open any packages yes. today? Which one? I, that one? Yes. Did you open any other packages? And that. Okay. Yes. Where are the other rings that are in it? The earrings that are missing. Everybody can see. No. Not yes, that there's... I know of, unless it fell out. Did you take anything from these packages? No. I just opened that one to be sure of what it was because I wasn't sure. And I told her before I paid for it. Okay. So we're not going to find the missing earrings in your pockets or anything? No, purse. there's not earrings. They're, they're the woman is directly questioned about the items she stole, which is evidenced on camera, but she tries to play dumb. So we're not going to find the missing ones? They're missing? So, Joanna, what, what we're referencing, we saw on camera and in person, you open these packages and there was multiple times where these items because fell on the I, floor. Oh, oh, oh. So where you had to physically bend down to pick them up. Yeah. Where are those? I probably put it back in there. there any items no, I on just paid no, for those. This package was opened. Did, was this paid for? Yes. Okay. I, I gave you the receipt. Here's the receipt. $19.99, I think. Do you want to go over the receipt with it? Yeah. You got Q-tips and then 
carefree pads. The officers now have the trespassing warning to hand, which only adds to the evidence stacked against her. 2021, you're issued a trespass warning, notifying you that you are no longer welcome onto this property. Okay, do you remember this? Not that I wasn't welcome here. Uh, after okay. I, I went and... Did the deputy explain my... what this is? You were issued a piece of paper. It looked just like this, but it was a pink copy. The deputy explained that you're no longer allowed on this property inside and on the parking lot property. Okay? And also, like he was saying, we have you in person and on camera opening up this package and collecting two items out of this, the earrings, and putting them into your purse. Okay. They couldn't be in the purse. Okay. I know I dropped one on the floor and I put it back. These earrings have these little white things maybe that come still in on the floor. that secure them in this package. This, this earring still has out, the. This one came out of your purse. The woman continues to try and talk her way out of it, but it seems that Target is pressing charges irrespective of her excuses. Okay. I did not take it intentionally. It might have fallen in my purse. I put my purse in the... We located the, uh, the other earring on the floor. Do you guys want to pursue charges on the trespassing? On the... Yeah. Okay, do you guys want to pursue charges on the, the one earring that was removed from the box? The grandmother is getting emotional about the charges and tries to leverage other evidence to help her out. Not Charlie, 223 tell Really, I wouldn't do that. It wasn't even an expensive. That's matter. why I didn't put it back. It because I'm it allergic to that. It doesn't, the price is irrelevant. What's my 1040? Can I do anything? No. Can you let me come to work here or something? Can I let and I'll you work come? it. I will. I used to be in sales. I used to. The cops take the woman to the checkout line to make sure that everything is processed correctly. The excuses never end, but unfortunately, the woman had her chance. She's escorted to a cop car and taken away to jail. She isn't cuffed, however, as she was being compliant. Okay, but we have no proof to we have no proof to confirm that. I didn't know. I don't know anything about that. I'm gonna put handcuffs on you before you sit in this car. The woman spent a few days in jail and the case grew more complicated when it was revealed that she had warrants for other thefts. It's currently unclear what the end result was, 